Hi everyone, this is Val from Eureka Crystal Beads with another sparkling beading video. But before I get started, here's a quick reminder to check out our channel and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time we have a new listing. Our project today is a Christmas stocking and I know it's just July and it's not close to Christmas yet but I am definitely a procrastinator so I decided I need to get a little bit of a head start on my Christmas beading projects. So the products we'll be using today are some 8mm pearls, some 6mm bicones in a light cyan. We'll be using two, uh, four of these little green 6mm bicones also and some 80 seed beads. You'll also be needing some fishing line or supple mats and um, a scissors. Ordinarily, I would use a clear monofilament or supple mats, but today I'm going to be using a black monofilament because it's easier to demonstrate on camera what we're making. So what I'm going to do is I strung up four beads on one line on my line, and I'm just going to cross through the, one of the last beads added with the opposite end, and then just bring my line to the center. I bring my beads to the center of my line so it just becomes a circle just like this okay. so on my lines I'm going to bring my lines together at the top and on one side I'm going to add two beads and the opposite side I'm just going to add one bead So two and one, and the side with one bead is going to cross through the last bead added on the opposite side. So just crisscross, again, like a kitty cat whispers, whiskers, and pull your line tight, and pull your line tight, and your project should still be in the center of your line. So now I have two circles, just like this, and now I need to build one more circle. So I'm going to repeat the step that I just did, just like that. So the side with one will cross into the last bead added on the opposite side. So just the same steps over and over for the, for the first three steps. So pull your line tight and now this is where it's going to change it up a little bit. So just make sure your line is nice and tight at this point. So we're going to bend our two ends together. We have this end bead and this bead. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend them in half and we're going to join it together by adding one bead on each side. And then I, since I already have my bead strung, I'm just going to cross through this bead here on each side. So pull your line through and pull it nice and tight. Same thing with the opposite side. Pull your line nice and tight at this point just to make sure that your first little square here is nice and tight. Okay, so one nugget down, or a little square, whichever you want to call it. So we're going to continue what we just did with uh, two beads on one end and one bead on the other end and cross through. Okay, so I'm just going to do this, and this side is going to cross into this next bead here, this last bead added on the opposite side. So I'm going to repeat this step one more time after this and I'll be back. All right, so I have started with my first nugget ball here and then I added on this next second row and then this third row. So this is existing and then I added this row and this row and so now I'm at the part where I have one bead on each side and now I'm going to cross through to this bead on the opposite end. So imagine like how I did on the first one where I started my first section. So I'm going to cross through this bead right here, each line. So I strung up one bead on each side, cross through from the opposite end, cross through. So it looks like this. Bead, these are the beads I added and I'm crossing through this bead right here. So, and then you're going to just pull your line nice and tight. So now I have two squares on top of each other, or two circles, whichever you want to say. Two on top of each other. And now I'm going to build another one. So starting from where I'm at now, I'm going to start adding my next. So I'm going to do two and one. And 
and then this one is going to cross into this last bead added on the opposite side and I'm going to do this one more time. Alright, so I've got my two lines coming out from each end of that one bead. So I have, if you think of it, I have the heart and I turn my heart sideways. So now it kind of looks like a stumpy L. So here and here. So on these two lines is where I'm going to work with here. So now I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing where I'm going to do two beads on one and one bead on the other and cross through that. So as you're looking, you see we're going to be stringing this right here. So I'm going to do this actually another two times and I'll be back. So this is where we started off here. We started off with our lines across with this one bead. We added on this circle, this circle, and one more. So we did a total of three circles in a row. And now I did one bead on each line. See, so one, two, three, and then one bead on each line. And what we're going to do is we're going to go across to this opposite side here and cross through that one bead. So this line will cross through. And the opposite side is going to cross through the same bead from the opposite direction. Okay, and now you're just going to hold it nice and tight. So you see how our shoe now it has this little extra piece sticking out here so that's like our front of our stocking boot and then what I want to do is I want to add one bead into that center there to kind of block up that space so since this line is on the top I'm just going to string through this bead going this direction pull that tight so my lines coming out from this one bead and I'm going to string up one bead on that line on the same line So once I've got my line strung, I'm going to bring my bead across. And once I got the bead strung, I'm going to go across, lay it across. And now I want to sew through this bead here. So this bead is opposite from this bead is where we started off. Just added our bead. And now we're going to go into the, the crystal bead across from that. And now we're going to pull this line nice and tight. So here we are. So now I want to bring both my lines coming out through this bead right here. So since this line is the closest, I'm just going to go directly across and pull it tight. This line that's at the bottom, I need to find a way to get up and through this bead, but I need to go this direction. So since I'm coming out from here, I'm going to go across from here and go around these beads so that it kind of tightens it up just a bit. So I'm going to go through these three beads and through this bead right here that my line, my opposite line is coming out of. So I'm just going to sew right through here, up this one bead. And then across through this one. And now I've gotten to this point. So now the same bead that my other line is coming out of, I can cross through that line. And at this point, you want to pull your line nice and tight. So I am right here. So now it looks like one big shoe, like a big person's shoe, kind of like, right? Just a big shoe. Okay, so now I'm going to start building another set of my nugget balls right where I started here. So on each line, actually on one line I'm going to do two beads and the opposite side is one bead. So as you notice we're kind of doing the same steps over and over as just where we position everything is where it matters. So two and one to the side with one will cross through the opposite side. And now let's see so I'm at this point now, if you look at it, I have one, two, three. So now I just actually have to put one bead on each side. So this is what I did. So one bead on each side is what's coming up next. Okay. 
and now we're going to cross through this bead right here. So I strung one bead on each side and now I'm going to cross through this bead. Sorry, I've just lost my bead so now I have to string up one more. Cross through that bead and see now when I pull my lines nice and tight, now it looks like this. So I have a double stack, another double stack, and then a single and like a half a stack right here. So we finished the first two sections of our stocking. So here, this back, this is your front, and then the base. So the base is still going to have that kind of a little bit bigger open hole. The top is where we wanted to close it up. So I'm at the point where my line is crossing through this one bead right here. And now, now what I want to do is I want to bring both of my lines to come out through this bead here. So this line here is going to cross, go through, so through this bead sideways, across, and through this bead. And doing this also helps kind of tighten up that top a little bit so that it doesn't have any slack in the line. And sometimes if it doesn't want to go through, you just kind of mush the beads off to the side and to help it to gather where you want it to go. Okay, so now this line is just going to cross through the same bead that your opposite line was. And pull this project nice and tight. So both my lines are coming out through here. So now on this line here, this line, I'm going to add on one red, one green, one red. And the opposite line is going to cross through the last red added and pull it tight. And now it looks like this. This line that's lower to the bead is going to cross through that one bead. The top line is now going to have one green, one red. Now if you didn't want to add the green on there or any other color, and if you just want it to be solid, then just where I'm adding the green, just use another, the same color as your main stocking. So in this case, I just use blue. So once I have my red added, the opposite line is going to cross through the red bead. Pull that nice and tight. And so now it looks like this. So now you have your two holly leaves right here. So again, now the line that is lower is going to cross through the next bead. Pull that tight. And now we're going to add on two red beads. And then opposite line is going to cross through the last bead added on the opposite side. Pull that tight. So now you see how it's starting to form the back and now we're going to do the opposite side. So the lower line again, string through one bead. And if your line is being a little stubborn and doesn't want to come out, just kind of push your beads off to the side and it kind of helps give it a little bit of a gap so your line doesn't try to get into another bead when it's not supposed to. So I came through this one and now this upper line I'm going to add on one green and one red. and cross through with the opposite line. So now you see how the greens are apart from each other. So now I'm gonna do this one more time. So I'm gonna go through the next bead with the lower line. The upper line here is gonna have one green, one red. And the opposite line is going to cross through the red and pull your lines nice and tight. So now you're right here. So now I'm going to bring this one line, this lower line, across this 
across this bead right here, go across and move up to this bead. And now on one line, you're going to add on one red bead and cross through with the opposite line. Pull your lines nice and tight and there's the main part of your stocking. So here we are. It's our side and our front and our back. Now we're ready to start adding our pearls. So with your stocking, the front of your stocking facing you, we're going to be adding on this side three white pearls. And cross through the last pearl added with the opposite line. And that looks like this when you pull tight. Now the line that is lower to where the crystal is here, you're going to add, you're going to string, you're going to string your line through that green bead. Pull tight. Now on the upper line, we're going to add one pearl and one red crystal. And the opposite line is going to cross through the crystal. And pull your line tight. So now it should look like this. Now the lower line again is going to cross through one green bead. And your upper line is going to have two pearls. Opposite line is going to cross through the last pearl added. And pull your line tight. Okay, so now it looks like this. So now the lower line is going to cross through this red bead right here, right next to the pearl. So cross through the red. And now we're going to add, on our upper line, we're going to add two pearls. And the opposite end is going to cross through the last pearl added. Pull tight. And now the lower line, again, will cross through a green crystal bead. Upper line is going to have one pearl and one red crystal. Opposite line will cross through the crystal. And pull your line tight. So you see how our little fluffy stuff of our stocking, which is now going to be pearls, is taking shape. And now we're, our lower line again is going to cross through this green pull your line tight and you're actually going to also go through the green and up through the pearl so now we have our line coming out one from the red crystal and one coming out from this pearl right here and now on one end you're going to add in one pearl this is our final pearl, and the opposite line, we're going to cross through the pearl. And pull your line tight. So at this point, you just want to make sure all your line is tight. So right here, we're pretty much done. So now what we want to do is kind of join these little loose pearls that are on the top together. So of course, remember, we're going to be using clear thread normally. Um, so you wouldn't see all this black thread as much more clear. So what we're going to do, we're going to start adding in our pearls. So in the curves right here, we want to add two pearls. Where it's a straight area, we're going to add one pearl. So here I'm going to start from the side that's closer to my front of my boot right here of my stocking. So I'm going to add, because I'm on a curve, two pearls, um, two of these seed beads. I'm going to sew through the next pearl. And because of curve again, I'm going to add two more seed beads. Go 
go through this next purl. Now we have our set, and because right here we're going to a straight section where the pearls are closer together, we're going to add one seed bead. Cross to the next pearl, and then now we're at a curve again, so two seed beads. Cross the next pearl, and still we're at a curve, so two more. Go through the next pearl, and one more seed bead. And cross through that pearl. You can at this point decide if you didn't want to cross through the pearl, and you wanted to just tie your knot, you could do that, but I like to give it a little bit more reinforcements, and then I'm going to continue to bring my line around the top one more time just to give it some more reinforcements. Because if I'm going to hang a ornament thread, I'm going to probably hang it through one of the pearls. So I can try to get through as many beads as I want right here. So I just kind of went through some seed beads. I'm just going to go around all the way around one time. And basically, I want to bring both of my lines together. So once I've gotten through all the beads, and one last one. And so now you just want to kind of gently give all your lines a nice tug just to make sure it kind of tightens up everything. So now this part is a lot stiffer and stronger, so it has more stability. Okay. One last tug, and then I want to start tying my knots. So just tie a couple of knots over each other. And make sure you pull nice and tight. One more time. This one end got a little short, so I'm just pushing it through. Okay, so now rule of thumb is you never want to tie, cut your ends of your line off right where your knot is, especially with monofilament or supple max. So now what I want to do is I want to try to go through a couple more beads. So I'm just going to go and sew through a couple more beads and I'll be back. So here's this finished stocking. And now I want to show you how to add a ornament hanger to it. So I took a piece of, of my Supple Max and it's about maybe nine inches long and I just folded it in half. Now the rounded edge here, the part that's folded in half, I'm going to input to the center of my stocking and let it come out through the top and then just kind of move the line to one side. And now bring your ends through that center of your monofilament and pull it tight and that will lock it in place. From here you can add on a bicone or if you want or pearls or anything you want or just leave it by itself and just tie this into one knot. Just make sure you leave enough room to hang your um, ornament onto a Christmas branch. And just pull your line tight. And if you want, you can just use your flat nose pliers to kind of help you pull the line a little bit tighter. So it looks just like this. Hope you enjoyed this video and all the supplies and more can be found on EurekaCrystalBeads.com and all the supplies we used in today's video, it will be in the comment section below. Thanks for joining us.